Um, I don't go any further than that in case I offend somebody in the audience, which I may already have done. This is the middle classes. They don't own the means of production, just a certain amount of property, a house, a car, that sort of thing. And this one here, the largest of them all, this is the working classes. Now, many of them are out of work at the moment, but we still call them the working classes. Now, as you can see, there's a constant state of antagonism <laughs> between the bosses and the workers with the middle classes not knowing which side to jump on, or what they formed a coalition. Get that <laughs> part of it. Um, now, that is a graphic illustration of the nature of society at the moment, isn't it? It does just encapsulate it. And uh, I say, actually, um, to, to, to be... Um, to make commentary on myself again. Um, this uh, is act, this bit of the act. I do this. I, I actually do this act in all sorts of places and universities. Um, uh, and there are some universities, some university sociology courses, where they get me in and they get the students to watch this bit, particularly. And if they've taken that in, they let them off a term's reading, <laughs> and, um, which is good because actually this and. University education terms, now this is going to be worth about 60 quid a student, you know, um, in terms of fees. Uh, so, anyway, well, as you can see, yes, where were we? Uh, so I can go back to the act now. Yeah, um, now, you're probably wondering, um, you probably noticed actually how good I am at dealing with hecklers. I think you must have noticed that because nobody <laughs> has heckled me. And, um, there is a reason for this, because many years ago, we used to do this a lot, we don't know it so much now, but I used to, we, on the alternative comedy sort of circuit, we used to, um, we used to have uh, workshops where we used to go and heckle one another. Uh, we used to sort of have these big meetings at the big house, and we'd sit, split up into different subgroups and then we'd have a plenary at the end. But we'd, um, we'd heckle one another and then come back very quickly with a reply that's not only razor sharp, uh, but also politically correct. And um, I got very good at this, but one of, one of the things I learned is that to deal effectively with hecklers, you must be able to anticipate, to know in advance the points in your act where somebody's going to shout something out, so that you can come straight back at them, and you spot them in the audience, you can come straight back at them, sometimes even before they've said it. Like for instance, I know that at this point in the act, almost invariably, in an audience of about this size, or a little bit larger, actually, somebody in the audience will shout out, well, what happens in a revolutionary or pre-revolutionary situation then? You were going to say it, weren't you? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> See how quickly I've come back there. Well, I'll tell you precisely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not intimidating you. <laughs> sure, because... I was going to shout out rubbish. Well, you're going to shout out rubbish. Okay. Well... I, I helped you there then, really, because if, if, if you'd said that, you know, it would have lowered you in the eyes of the rest of the audience. But um, anyway, I'll tell you precisely. Sorry, if, if I am intimidating you, let me know. I'll criticise myself on the spot, but it's all right. Don't worry. I'll tell you what happens in a revolutionary situation. First of all, things get very confused, as you can see. The ropes are confused. No doubt, you're also confused. This represents. Society in a state of confusion, in that state where, it, where the ruling class can no longer rule here, it would just take that conscious effort on the part of the masses to change the whole nature of society from one based on profit to one based on, on human need. Um, in case you don't recognise it, this is the, the point at which the TUC usually tries to settle for about 2%. Um, but if that doesn't happen, we should find that we have three... Equal classes, three equal pieces of rope. Thank you. Uh, now, now, those people who clapped there are the uh, reformists in the audience, because this always catches them out. As you can see, three classes, though they may appear equal, the rev this is not satisfactory. The revolutionary uh, situation must continue through this phase uh, with more confusion, until eventually we should find that we have just one class or a classless society. Thank you. Thank you.